Okay, so today I received my Delta printer from Anycubic. It's the plus version of it, which means that it has a build area of 230 by 270 millimeters. It has a heated bed, and that's pretty much all that I know about it. So let's get the box open and uh, see what's inside. So I haven't actually made that much research in this printer. Let me just get the invoice here out of the way. Uh, I bought this printer just to try uh, how a Delta printer works. And uh, I had no real expectations of it other than being a fun project. Nice packaged. Uh, some kind of user manual, I guess. Yeah, some assembly instructions. And here is what is this? Before we get started, please carefully read blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, yeah, sure. We'll do that later. So in this package I also got one spool of uh, PLA I suppose. Yeah. Probably not that good but we will test that out. Uh, stepper motors. I guess this is for the extruder. Because that's the only one that looks different. But actually, yeah, the, the bigger one is probably for the extruder. And here is probably a lethal <laughs> item. So let's throw that away. Uh, main board. And from what I can see, they have already installed the stepper drivers in here. So this is, uh, I think they called it the Three Gorilla motherboard. Yeah, Three Gorilla main board. And I have not read, pretty much I haven't read anything about it. I don't know anything about it other than it's an Arduino based motherboard just like the other ones, like the ramps board. It's the same thing pretty much. SD card, 8 gigabyte. I guess this is the power supply. It's supposed to be two power supplies in this kit because I got the power version of the printer. So this is a 12 volt, 20 amps power supply. Uh, no fans, so it should be quiet. Hopefully, not burn my house down either. <laughs> and I guess this is the small one. Like a laptop power supply or something. Oops. Power cord. I don't actually know what that adapter was for, but uh, well, I have already thrown it away. And we got a pack of extra thermistors. I think it's five. Some wire for the heated bed, I guess. It looked like that. Uh, 
a E3D version 5 clone. I think I'm gonna change that to an V6 Hotten later on because my main purpose of buying this printer was not to have a perfect printer but to make it perfect or have another project at least. So what do we got here? A couple of tools, some stuff for the extruder I think. Some plastic things, some plastic spacers, a transparent tube, not the Bowden tube I guess, I don't know, uh, gloves I guess this is, or if it's not balloons, some uh, cable wrapping, a USB cable, pretty long one compared to what they usually give you and another sample of PLA guess it's the same but uh, anyway let's get this out of the way the only, the only research the only research that I've done on this printer says that it is well packaged and uh, I think it looks to be exactly that well packaged. Like everything has its own little bag. I mean everything. Uh, well, I guess this is the parts for the effector. Uh, some a fan and some cables and a belt. Uh, something. Injection molded parts for the frame. No cracks. Looks all right to me. Let's check another one just to make sure. And this one looks fine as well. Okay. What else? The LCD screen with its ribbon cables. A printed part for the fan duct, I guess. Some cables and the cover for the LCD. Uh, okay, let's get this thing out. And put it on the floor. So some T-slot nuts. This looks to be an M4 or something. And this is probably M3. Yeah, okay. The, the label tells it all. At least on one bag. Uh, the heated bed. Whoa. Oh, okay. It's a glass as well. I didn't know that. Um, oh, look at this solar job. I think we will redo that. Other than that, the bed looks good. I will probably take some resistance shakes on it later. And here is I guess this is some kind of Biltac clone. Um, okay, well, looks all right. Uh, a whole bag of uh, nuts and uh, bolts. Let's 
get everything into the box again so I don't lose anything. And here is the arms for the effector. I don't actually know what this material is, but uh, some kind of plastic. A little messy but I hope it works oh and a lot of metal fragments all over the parts look at this <laughs> it's a complete mess but at least it is protected somewhat from it but uh, I think I will need to clean those outside I don't want to get any small metal fragments on my floor and here is a linear rail let's get into one and see how it works It's oily. Oh, I think I can already see a problem here. Can you see that? A couple of balls from the linear rod has fallen out or something. Or is this like spare parts? I don't think so. Let's put them there. Why would they send spare parts? Well, slides quite nice, but uh, it's oily as. <clears throat> Actually, I think it is spare parts, the balls that I showed you earlier, because I can see now that the other two linear rails seems to have it as well. But, uh, well, I don't know why that is. Because if you look inside here, you can see a small bag of... If you can see three balls or something and um, yeah same in that one okay so that was pretty much the unboxing of the uh, delta printer from anycubic and i will see you in my next video when i have hopefully assembled this and uh, will see how it prints see you next time